everyone and thank you for joining me on a shell finding adventure. The first shell today, ooh, stretch, ooh, there we go. Oh, it is whole. We've got a fairly nice looking moon snail. I do like that one. The colors on it are pretty nice around that swirl. Oh my goodness, that does look good. Oh, don't drop it, Maddie. Ooh. Oh, that is a very pretty strombus. My goodness. I'm pretty sure this one's common name is still the little bear conch. Wow, I just really, really like that one. Oh my goodness, pretty snakehead, are you alive? Oh, you're, you're, oh, you're not alive, you're empty. There's just rocks in there. Whoa, that's a very nice one. It looks super sleek and glossy. Wow, I didn't find any nice snakeheads yesterday, so oh boy, must be snakehead day. Oh. I just saw it. Can you see it right in there? Is that a little toy truck? Oh my god, let's grab it. Oh, let's grab it. Oh, it is a little toy truck. What a sad little thing. No wheels left on it. I wonder how long that was there for. Ah, uh, lucky Maddie. Oh, it is empty. I think it's not stuck. Yep, there's nothing in there. Oh my goodness, it must be like the smallest little spotted deer cow I've ever found. What? That's such a cute little guy. I've been having great luck with these ones lately. Awesome little cowries. Right there is a little thousand spot cone. They can get to be a really orange color. They're super nice cone shells. Oh, I must say that is a rather nice limpet. Ooh, the colors on that look fantastic. Even I like that one. Now, sitting on top, it's a bubble shell. Oh, I got it just as that wave came. Oh my goodness, the bubble shell is all whole as well. Gosh, that is quite a nice one. Wow. An old carry on top of that sand pile. Empty. Oh, it's a grape. But oh my goodness, look at the shape of that, that teeth. Is it just like a little bit of a freak maybe? Awesome, that's kind of a cool cowrie. Even though it's old, I still like it quite a lot. My goodness, I have not found one of these in months. Oh, looks like it does have a little bit of a chip in it. Oh, it's got more than just a little bit of a chip in it. Let's wash it out. Oh, look at that one. A paper fig. And it's even got like most of the tip as well. My goodness, I do like that. Even with the break, they're just so rare for me. Definitely keeping this one. Ooh, look what's just waiting for me. Yes, it looks whole and good. It is the prickly spotted droop. Sometimes called the gold ring droop. Awesome, these things are just super lovely seashells. Ho oh, ho ho ho. Are you occupied? Watcha! Yes, it is occupied by a crab. Okay, Mr. Crab, you can go right back down where I got you from. There you go, buddy. Well, that one must have been there for a while. It's got like sand um, collapsing around it. Oh, it is hole on top. Oh, I wasn't sure if it was because of the hole on the back. My goodness, that is a lovely big moon snail. Got a little bit of a hole, but otherwise it sits quite well. Oh, I like that one. Oh my goodness, that looks like an extremely pretty snakehead. Oh yes, indeed. Wow, there's not even any rocks in it, just a bit of sand. Oh, the pattern on that looks absolutely wonderful. What's that in there? What's that? What's that? Uh, there we go. Ooh, it's a rather nice blue cowrie. My goodness, the uh, the color on the side is uh, it's obviously where some damage was and the snail fixed it, but it makes it look super cool. I think I finally found the first erosa for the day. It's, oh, wow. Oh my God, guys, I'm not exaggerating this. I thought it looked shiny before, before I picked it up, but wow, this one feels so good. It could be a gem one. Oh my goodness. It looks very pretty and green on top. Wow. Oh yes, right there. Oh yes. A very nice looking crown cone. That is just an extremely fat and thick brown cowrie. Wow, I do like this guy for some reason. 
There we go. Oh yes, another Arosa. Oh, this one looks nice too. Not quite as good as the one that I literally just found, but this one has a very nice green color on top as well. Oh, what are you? Are you a big old faded clandestine? Oh my God, you are. Right after that clandestine, I just spotted a second clandestine in this little hole. Oh, don't slip. Ooh, ooh. There we go, clandestine number two to go with number one. The lovely limpet. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness, I do like that one. Wow, the silver circle in it just looks really cool with the rest of the patterns. What the heck is that? What is that? Oh my God, can I move this? I can move this. Is it a ball? It's, yes. Okay, where's the other half of this ball? Gosh, that's just a really weird find. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, that is a pretty little sundial shell. I don't mind that one at all. I have very few sundial shells. I always like finding them. That's a lovely color. Just sitting right there on the rack line. Oh, what's that clandestine number three today? There we go. Nice little clandestine. How did I not see that immediately? There we go. It's just a pretty little triton shell. A little hairy triton. Awesome. Geez, uh, when you fail to find stuff in the water, just check the rack line, I guess. Uh, these are absolutely everywhere. Teeny tiny little pheasant shells. I'm still filling glasses and jars with them, but they are just super, super pretty shells. I wish we got them a bit bigger here. My gosh, I just should have checked the rack line from the beginning. <laughs> there we go. A pretty nice Campbell Strombus, although it is missing the iconic Strombus lip. I do like that one though, oh my goodness. Oh, a little baby rock snail. For the people who just love these little rock snails. Oh, this purple one's kind of nice. I don't usually pick up bivalves, but I definitely like the color of that one. And I see right here, yeah, a juvenile blue cowrie. That looks super duper cool. Wow, look at that one. Oh, another juvenile cowrie. I just don't know what kind it is. Maybe a juvenile deer cowrie. There we go, I'm sorry, I got it in focus. Uh, don't drop it. <laughs> oh, I really, really like that one. That is super duper cool. The second bubble shell today. Oh, that one's a bit bigger than the first one, I think, but gosh, it looks just as good. I don't usually find them without any breaks in it. That looks fantastic. I've heard that if you shine a UV light on these bubble shells, they, gl they glow either pink or orange or something. How do shells even know how to do that? I've decided that I like these purple clams, so I just keep picking them up off camera. Oh, now that is a very nice telescoped dove shell. Oh, yes, I don't mind these ones at all. Fairly common here, but I just like the way they look. Oh my god, stop the phone. I just found one of the best finds of the day. My goodness. My goodness, look at this one. It's a lined bubble shell, I think they call it, or like a, a red lined bubble shell. I only saw a picture of it once before, and that was on um, a Facebook page I'm part of. Oh my goodness, I didn't think I'd actually find one. That is super duper cool. The, uh, the little snail in it looks like it has like electric blue edges all around it. That is a super neat little find. Wow. That is my second Gaia Triton in two days. Wow, look at that one. At least it's all whole. My last one wasn't all whole. That is super duper cool. Ooh, a little bean trivia right there. Can I, there we go. Got a good focus on it. And a teeny tiny mini sand dollar. Oh, I'm dropping everything, aren't I? I'm still holding on to all of those little purple shells I keep picking up off camera. 
Well, I was kind of mindlessly going to pick up more of these purple bivalves, which I really do rather like. And right next to it is that a beautiful little cat cowrie. My goodness, it is absolutely stunning. It's got all of its nice little brown dots on top of it too. For a second I thought it might have been gem, but I'm not sure. It sure does look lovely though. Wow. Oh, right there. A very nice Labralinata cowrie. Another yellow tinted cowrie. Oh, well after moving aside a lot of shells for the past half an hour, Oh, clandestine number four looks fan-freaking-tastic. Wow, look at the dark patterns on that. Gosh, that is a very, very nice cowrie. I think the Latin name for these ones is, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Palmadasta clandestina. Bean trivia. It's a good thing that I pick up a few of these because without fail, by the time I leave the beach and get home, I'll have lost at least one of them in the fourth dimension. So I need a couple of backup ones. Well, here I am just about to go and it looks like someone squashed this under their foot. Um, wow, it's just a really big top shell. That's the entrance right there. Ooh, I don't know what, it, what it's from, but that's kind of cool. Doesn't look like it'd be a carrier shell or anything though. Okay, but hear me out. They're a very pretty color, okay? I had to collect them. They're just, they're just very, very purple. I'm a purple fan, all right? So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and maybe subscribe to see more. But for now, oh my goodness, I want to hear from you. Which ones were your favorites today? We didn't get many big ones, but we got a really like large selection of unusual ones like what even is this is this actually a carrier shell it looks so plain and boring but i've just got no idea so let me know if you know on to the calories so yes there was a lot of really nice calories today got a really nice erosa that one might be gem one really nice clandestine up there with the kind of deep brown or deeper brown got a very nice snakehead very nice um cat cowrie but you know what, the favorite cowrie today is going to be whatever this is. Some kind of juvenile, um, I'm not really sure of what. I don't think it's an Arabian juvenile, I'm fairly certain it's not. So maybe a deer juvenile or a, I don't know, cherry juvenile, I'm not sure. But anyway, that one isn't the favorite, it's just the favorite cowrie. My favorite today is 100%. Oh, can I get it? There we go. This red lined bubble shell. I have never seen one in person before. I don't actually know if they're rare or not. I just know that, ah, oh, this is the first time I've ever found one. And it's definitely going into my little micro shelling case for forever and it's never going to leave. So hopefully I don't lose it on the car ride home. Just absolutely lovely texture and design on it. It is fan freaking tastic. So there we go. That was my favorite today from the rack line. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye guys.